Rocco with the pro with the number 10 USC middleweight, Mr. Calvin Gastola. You're in the flesh, Phoenix, Arizona. How we doing? Hey, thanks for coming to my home, Schmo. Appreciate you having this, Schmo, man. Some car issues? Yeah, man. I, I went out with a buddy of mine. I left my car keys in his car, and I actually haven't seen him in a couple of days, so maybe I should call him. I'm worried about him. That's right, but you got the schmo. You got Helen inside the home. It's always good to chat with you. The last time the schmo chatted with you, you said you were going to go down to welterweight, man. But then uh, you didn't make the jump down to welterweight. Training for the middleweight fight, have the injury. Right, so we're, we're going to have one more fight at middleweight, which actually never happened. So that's kind of still the same mindset. Is, is going to have one more fight at middleweight, and then the plan is to drop down. Even if you win in spectacular fashion, you still drop down to welterweight? That's a good question. Um, you know what? That that also depends. If I get a really good opportunity again at middleweight to to fight maybe a top five after my next fight, then who knows? Well, the schmo heard you say to Helen E Sports, you're planning to return to the fall, man. You're going ahead of schedule with this recovery, though, yeah. Yes, very much ahead of schedule. I'm actually like Wolverine, you know. I'm I'm, I'm recovering really really fast, and uh, I'm really happy with the prog progress that I've made. So uh, expect to see me hopefully in the fall. What were the ligaments that were torn? Oy. So it was a few. Uh, it was the PCL, MCL, and, and the meniscus. Um, but apparently the meniscus or the PCL ha hasn't been there for a while, so they left that alone. And the, the, meni and the MCL as well. And they just cleaned out the, uh, the meniscus. All those years of wrestling catching up to you, Mr. Gastelum. I guess so. Yeah, they told me, you know, if we don't fix this, maybe in like 20 years, be some, some arthritis there. So it's all right. Let's go back to USC 236, the war you had with the champion Israel Adesanya. One of the best fights the Schmo's ever seen in person. Are you surprised that he's still the champion, man? He hasn't lost since? No, no, he's a great fighter. He's proved his hit himself every step of the way. So, no, I'm not surprised. And he's gotten better, I think, in my opinion. You know, this fight with Jared is going to be a very, very tricky one. I obviously, I fought Jared in my last fight. I think if he does a good job of mixing his strikes and hiding his strikes, I think he does a good job of, of, of landing, you know, which ultimately can, can win him the fight, right? Yeah, you fought nothing but killers, all the who's who's. And you've even trained a long time in your career with the killer Marvin Vittori over at King's MMA, man. He's got a big fight coming up, a big fight against someone you know well, Robert Whitaker. Yeah. What advice would you give Marvin Vittori now that you're not training with him? What advice would you give him if you were training with him? You know what? I, I don't think I'd need to give him any advice. I think he has the perfect style to go up against uh, someone like Rob. You know, he's a big, uh, muscular kind of a grappler guy, I think, and obviously he's got great uh, boxing credentials. So I think Marvin, if Marvin uh, gets a hold of Robert, I think it'll be a problem for him. You never say never, but do you see an opportunity where you'd go back to King's MMA to maybe help him out with the fight or maybe a future fight? Absolutely. I, I, I will go back to King's. I actually might go back soon and uh, say hello to everybody. So I actually, yeah. Yeah, Benil Dariush, man. Seven fight win streak. Everyone's talking about him not getting the title opportunity against Charles Dubron Solvera. They're talking about Islam Makachev, man. You know Benny pretty well, man. Don't you think he's deserving to fight for the title next? I believe so, but I also know the UFC and the uh, politics, if you want to call it, that may come with it. Um, and, and, but to be honest, Benny is up there, man. Benny can, can compete with the best guys. We always thought he can be world champion, and he's, he's like a real-life samurai. You know, this guy is a real leader in, in, in the room and uh, really sets himself apart, sets himself apart uh, in the room and I think in the octagon. If he gets the opportunity to do so against a, one of the bigger guys, he'll, he'll do so. Do you believe that the winner of the Alex Pereira and Sean Strickland fight is worthy to be fighting next for the title? Gee, um, what, what rank are they? Well, I'm not sure about Perea's rank, and I know Strickland's got to be somewhere in the top 10. Not sure if he's top 5. He actually might be 4th. There might be this three-way tie at the number 4th ranked position right now in the UFC. I just think, that, uh, you know, uh, Marvin, Rob fight, Jared fight, there might be something going on there before anybody else gets a shot.
even though they've already had a crack at the title, you believe they're worthy enough to get it again before that winner of that fight? Maybe. What if Rob wins? What if Marvin wins? I th you don't think either of those should fight for the title next? Of course they're worthy of it, but you're the pro and I'm the schmo. That's why we ask you the questions here. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's not my job. So uh, you're just asking the wrong person. This is just uh, thinking out loud. Where are you going to be watching the big fight this Saturday, man? The one that's going down in Singapore, UFC 275. You know, I'll be here in, uh, in Phoenix, probably out in Scottsdale somewhere. I was hanging out with some friends. Okay. All right. <laughs> and can we get a final message for all the Calvin Gastelum fans out there worldwide? Yeah, no, I, I get messages all the time. I'm thankful for the support, the ongoing support, even though uh, right now I'm, I'm in bum kneeville population one right here you know so uh i thank you all for the support and uh hopefully by the fall we'll see you guys in action he's the pro i'm the schmo inside the home we're out